I had no idea how important white balance is until I turned this into this. Will Simpson here and welcome to Exploring Photography. In this video, we're gonna clarify what white balance is, why it's so important, and why it's one of the most overlooked settings. What is white balance? White balance is the process of removing unrealistic colors so that objects in real life that are white are rendered in your camera to be white without any alterations of colors. As you probably know, different lights can cast different colors. Some can cast like a bluish light, some can cast an orangey light, even some can cast like a greenish, pale greenish light. These are referred to as cool tones for the bluish light and warm tones for the orangey light. The reason for this is because the blue and orange range is measured in temperature or kelvins. Kelvins is actually the, the measurement in, that indicates how hot or cold something is. Your eye is really good at judging what should be white in these different shades of light. However, your camera is not so good and sometimes needs a little help. Most cameras have an auto white balance feature. However, if there's not like a, a true white or a neutral color, neutral element in the photo, sometimes your camera can misjudge and add too much blue or too much orange, which gives that picture or video a little bit of a weird color. As technology advances, and it's advancing really fast these days, the auto white balance feature is getting better and better but it's always good to set it yourself because it gives your camera a true white to judge that scene by. There are also auto preset conditions. For example, if you go into your menu and you can see auto white balance, if you select that, then you'll see like daylight and that's for a bright sunny day. You can see cloudy and that's for a cloudy day. You can see uh, custom. There's several different features here. So if you're in one of these conditions, you can use this specific setting to better tell your camera what condition you're shooting in. But again, it's really not foolproof. Sometimes it still does mess up. Shooting raw makes a huge difference as well because it records the white balance. So if you accidentally mess up or get a weird color, usually you can fix that in post. Lightroom has this really cool feature. Let's, let me show you really fast. So here's this picture that I took and you can clearly see it's too blue and it's too green. You can definitely see that. So this little feature here, this little tool, you see this white balance, this is where you adjust it. If you select this little eyedropper thing, and then if you select a neutral color, you see how it brings up all of these little colors here? If you select a neutral color, let's go up here and select the whitish sky, and you click that, and voila, there you have it. I mean, look at that. Just with a click of the button, it fixed the white balance. Now, it's not necessarily flawless, but it does get you on the right track. JPEG, not so much. If you remember from the video, raw versus JPEG, JPEG files are compressed. So when you take a photo, that file is then pre-edited and compressed. So your editing ability is limited. Now, sometimes you can recover it, but it, it's kind of a hit or miss, so I wouldn't rely on it. Another cool thing in editing is some people use this to actually give it a kind of a stylistic look, adding a lot of cool tones, making the photo really bluey, also a kind of a winter feel. And the orangey side, it gives it kind of a warm feel or a summer feel. So if you wanna edit for that style, you can totally do that. But it's really good to start with a proper white balance. Then you can change it and edit it to whatever style you want. If you get into this relying on post editing kind of thing, which some people do, I guarantee you are going to add countless hours to your post processing. It's it's not the greatest thing to do. The rule that I live by is, can I fix it before I shoot? If I can, then I do it. If I can't, is there a workaround to allow me to fix it so it's not there, but I don't have to fix it in post, if that makes sense. Basically, if you can fix it so it doesn't need edited out or changed or fixed, that is the best way to go about it. It's gonna save you tons of time. Let me tell you, it will save you tons of time. Just, just trust me on this. So how do you set your white balance? Well, I use this little tool. It's a white balance key, what I call it. I actually got it on Amazon. I'll link it below. It's only like $15. And I actually learned about this from a guy named The Basic Filmmaker. He has, he's a YouTube guy, and he has tons of videos on basic filmmaking, and it's a really good channel to check it out. I highly recommend it. 
I actually saw a video of his which showed how to use this and I wanted to show you guys because I thought it was so cool. First, you wanna make sure that your set is completely set up. For example, I got my lights on, I got my backlight on, I got my camera up where it needs to go, I have all the lights that are gonna be on, on, and I have my whole set set up. That's step number one. Just as a quick note, you can't actually set your custom white balance in full auto. Full auto means just that. The camera does everything. If you're using aperture priority, shutter priority, or manual, or any other programmable mode, then you can set your white balance. Next, what you wanna do is put your camera into a photo mode, so it's taking pictures, and turn it into auto, full auto mode. Now, I know this contradicts what I just said, but this is just to take the picture with this thing. Then, what you're gonna do is you're gonna switch the lens to manual, and you wanna set the camera up so it's pointing where it's going to be either taking a picture or filming. Hold this device right in front of the lens, like basically capping the lens and take a photo. Once you've done that, you can then set your camera back to autofocus or manual focus, whichever one you're using, and put it back into manual mode. Go to your camera menus and select white balance. Make sure it's set to custom. You don't wanna have it on one of the auto modes, daylight modes, anything like that. You want it set to custom. Then you're gonna go to customize white balance. It should show you the last image you took, which should be the image you took with the white balance key. You're gonna select set, then press OK and then confirm. And done, your white balance is set. Remember that when you move scenes or change lighting or move locations, you're gonna have to redo this because it's using the data from the lighting of the previous scene. So if you change locations, it might throw off the color just a little. I use this mainly for videos. I found that autofocus generally works pretty well for outside photography. And to be honest, I don't wanna be thinking every five minutes that I need to update my white balance settings. So I just use auto white balance and that tends to work pretty good for what I use. You just have to play with it and see what you like better. If you're cool with constantly setting the, the white balance and by all means do that, but it might get a little tiring. <laughs> just remember, once you're done with the scene to set it back to auto white balance because if you leave it on custom, then you're you know gonna be shooting with that same scene the entire time. White balance is so important and it's so easy to set that I, I just find it surprising that as a setting, it's one of the ones that is most overlooked. You'll find that people with really good pictures, they probably are setting their white balance because it is key. I mean, it's the base of your photo or video. And that's it for white balance. I hope this video helped you out. And if it did, give it a like. Uh, otherwise, I will see you next time in the journey that is exploring photography. Catch you later, guys. Whew, it's getting cold in here. Oh my goodness. Oh man. Brr, you guys feel that? Oh, what? Now it's getting hot. Oh, gee. Oh, get it, get it off. Get off. Oh. White balance.